here we are. Yes. This is it. Grandma's house. Grandma's. Well, walking into the house for the first time, it's like a track home. You have the standard carpet. There's no personal expression whatsoever. <laughs> How long has yes. she lived here, by the uh, way? Six years. Has it been that long? Yes. Has it six years. Wow. Six years. There's a point of view in the house that we're picking up on very quickly. Yes. So they wouldn't like the Parisian brothel look or something? Probably not. <laughs> I'm gonna forewarn you, my grandmother has her own sense of style and certain things that she really likes and enjoys. She just purchased this uh, furniture here. We're not quite sure the proper approach just yet on what we're gonna do with Addressing these sofas. sofas. <laughs> now, my business partner wants to just chuck them. We oh, gotta no. keep these, but I mean, <laughs> at least these I hope not. She, ju she just bought it. But I don't think these are you, gonna work, Nick. You're gonna have to figure something out with the sofas. Sofas ain't going nowhere. My grandmother just bought those. I would probably still get a whooping if you moved those sofas. Can we take the carpet out? No. We wanna punch it. No. They can't take the carpet We can't no, take the carpet because out. Mom wants the carpet dyed. Die? die? <laughs> 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 who dies carpet? Who dies carpet? I even... I don't know. Why would you die carpet? Like, this is not 1976. This is my whole thing about this, this room. All of my life, my grandmother always talked about having a grandfather clock. And that was a thing where, you know, one day I was gonna be able to buy a grandfather clock. And I did that, but... Now it feels like this stuff is just kind of up against the wall. And I always remember going to the mall, seeing these amazing clocks, and my grandmother would say, oh, I've always wanted a grandfather clock. And last Mother's Day, I was able to purchase a grandfather clock. I would love for that to be a focal point because it means so much to us. All right, so let's go check out the kitchen. We congregate in the kitchen. My grandmother loves to cook, and it's a nice size kitchen to where we kind of all can have discussions and hang out, so we can't mess it up. We can't go too over the top and do something to where it doesn't make people want to be in there anymore. Behind you, there's two microwaves. Well, that one, that's the thing. This oh, doesn't no. work, so instead of getting this repaired, they just went and bought, one oh, yeah. bought another. You could take the family out of the ghetto, but you can't take the ghetto out of the family. <laughs> does she love the granite countertops? Because She does. Them. Everything she loves, you want to change, well, right? <laughs> I uh, know. What about the cabinet? Cabinet. Can we change it? Do you think, yeah, she'd want to paint it? It looks very Can basic. Paint it? Like a charcoal gray. Mm -mm. I know You're that scaring hard. me. Would you rather have some yellow, gray, white? Or would you rather have brown, 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 brown? She likes her brown. A... Jamie and Ron want to bring in color. I'm with it, but Phyllis understands as well as I know deep down that my grandparents don't really dig color like that. I can already see in your eyes you're not feeling this area at not all. all. No, no. Mom's not either. Really? You know, back at Grandma's and stuff, she, they had the banquette, the bench thing. Yeah, she And she's really always wants really wanted. Yeah. See, we could rip this out. Yes. And we could do a banquette. Hallelujah. Just That's don't it. lose the lazy suit. <laughs> no, come on. With the but fake hat. <laughs> all right, so where the family really hangs out is in the family room, the den area, as I like to call it, right here. And... I'm surprised because I got them this television. I don't understand why it's on the ground now. Uh, uh, because it's not working. When did it break? <laughs> I don't know, but they turn it on and the picture comes, then it disappears. This was a good and then it's TV. making a noise like the doorbell, you know, when the doorbell stuck. Like, we could fix that. We've been talking about grandma all afternoon. <laughs> all right. What about grandpa? What, where does he sit when he's in here? He'll drag his chair in here and Which watch chair? the game from the other... That chair from the library? Yeah. Yeah. He drags that in oh, here? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to yeah. take care of that. Yeah, let's grandma. take care. And then this obviously is more pictures. I mean, our family oh my God. loves pictures. And that's the thing my grandparents are always so asking cute. for more pictures of my kids. And I tell them they can just... Get them online, <laughs> but I think they don't. You know, they don't know what I that love is. So it's like, exactly. You know, those are sometimes the best gifts. I we'll have some in. ideas. Yeah. For yeah. It's just some suggestions we'll give you. In our family, photos are extremely important. My grandparents have them all over their house, and we give photos as gifts a lot of times. And my grandparents are constantly asking for photos of my children.
This is a room. This is you call it a multi-purpose room. Cool. This is like when my dad or any other family comes <laughs> over. My grandmother set up like two twin beds, but then it's kind of just turned into this wow. study Stop. junk archive. So Nick, I see there's a ton of VHS <laughs> tapes here. My father has probably every tape of everything that I've ever done. I think that's the me doing my videos when I was like 11 or 12. My father had his own public access show. He would allow me to open up for him. So I always say I was opening up for the preacher man. And he taught me about using camera equipment and editing. And it, it was a different outlet for me at an early age. You get your butt up now. Up. <sighs> I started to put my my own act together. Why is it that people with bad breath always got so much to say? I would steal stuff from Eddie Murphy and Arsenio Hall and then Living Color and do all these impressions. It's totally ludicrous. It's ecstatic. Uh, ludicrous. That's the big boy. Some that weren't very appropriate for uh, church. When I was about 18 years old, I started on all that, but I would say where I felt like I actually made it is when I was 21 years old, I starred in my first feature film, Drumline. To be, you know, starring in a film and to actually be on, you know, Hollywood Boulevard where many legends have crossed this same path before, it's really cool. And that's kind of when everyone noticed who I was and, and my career kind of shifted into another gear. <laughs> I have the perfect solution for this organization. His name is Brad, and we call him the Little Chihuahua. He's, <laughs> he's about five, dervish. five, and he's like, he's yeah. He doesn't make hammer. sense out of all of this. Yeah. yeah. It'll be crazy. Yeah. But he's okay. the best person for this job. All right, so here we are in the backyard. It's kind of a long yeah. shot, you know? There's nothing back there. There's a strip of lawn and a strip of concrete and a fence. Well, I was talking to my grandmother the, the other day and she was saying how she would love to have like a swing. It sounded crazy, like you're in your 70s, what are you swinging for? But she kind of <laughs> then told me that you kind of just go out and enjoy the breeze. And so that's something that I, I really want to find and provide for my grandmother. We went through the entire house. Yeah. You guys said you could pull it off. Hope so. Yeah. And you gotta do it in three days. It's tough. Yeah. My grandmother never leaves the house, so the only way I was able to get her to do it is I told her, you have to do this for me. They're doing an E True Hollywood story on me and they wanna bring you to LA. So Ron, Jamie, you got 72 hours. That's all I can give you. That that's pushing it. As long as we have a lot of help. You got me, you got my brothers. My cousins, our sons, you got our entire family. Teamwork makes the dream work. We got a lot of work ahead of us. So big smiles and <laughs> <laughs> let's go. You got it. Yeah. I'm ready. What's the lot to take in? Come on, we got this. Okay, because you're going to get the blame.